Hi, I have an interest in um, uh, multiple sclerosis because my wife might have it. And I'm just trying to um, check out things that other people might not have checked because they're difficult to check. One thing I've thought of is that um, the valves in the in a vein are like all valves and they heart uh, they're like all valves in that they're not perfect. They will never have a hundred percent efficiency. And that means that even though they help the water or sorry the blood move forward, there will be a little back pulse when they close that you can't see. But just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's there. And these little pulses, the, if you can imagine like radio waves or sound waves or water or waves in the water, these little pulses, you can't see them. But just like the waves in the water, they will interfere with the oncoming 1.2 or 3 hertz uh, big wave that comes from the heart as it pumps blood up through the neck and around and back through the vein and back down to the heart again. So um, imagine you have all these from um, el more elastic and less elastic um, blood vessels. You'll have all these little interferences going on in the brain. And in people with uh, multiple sclerosis, many, many, many of them have a very even heart rate. And this means that the interference patterns in someone with MS are likely to be much more stable than in someone like you or me. So in my case, because my heart rate varies, there won't be a possibility of, say, one little spot in a capillary having high blood pressure all the time, or low blood pressure all the time, or maybe um, low flow rate all the time, because the patterns vary. The interferences um, don't be uh, steady in one uh, place. So, um, so just like um, you know, waves on a pond or coming in from the sea. If if the waves are coming in really evenly, you'll get patterns under the water, whereas in the sand. Whereas if the waves are kind of erratic, you don't get these patterns. And I think maybe something like that is happening in the brains of people with MS because even though the, the little uh, pulses back that you, you can't see, it would be very hard to detect them. There might only be maybe a one hundredth of the strength of the big heart pulse that comes in at 1.1 or 1.2 hertz. They will interfere maybe in capillaries um, far, far away from from the valves of the vein. And it's like a computer screensaver. Whereas my, uh, my, my brain or your brain, the harmonics means that it changes all the time. They're stuck with the one um, harmonic picture, as it were, and it will cause burnout in certain spots. So in the specific capillaries, and this may be what is busting up the blood-brain bar barrier. So it's just something to think of. That's a possibility, and I'm certainly not capable of checking if it can be real or not.